Hello and welcome to a quick demo for SuccessFactor Sub Analytics Cloud Live Connector. My name is Chris Wilpert. I'm an Orbis People Consultant, and for many, many years I uh, work in the SuccessFactors area, especially for people analytics. And I want to demo today like a special live connector. Um, so, first of all, let me just repeat. Uh, the basics. So for SAP Analytics Cloud, we have two kind of connectors. We have an uh, import connector, which basically import data from our um, source system. So this could be in success factors, workforce analytics, or success factors. We also have live connectors. That means no data will be uh, imported into SAP Analytics Cloud, so they stay where they are. So before we didn't have a live connector in success factors and with uh, last release last year, um, there was a live connector introduced. There were a couple of issues at the beginning of the year or like a manual switch um, for a ticket for SAP, but now general availability and this live connector I want to show you. That would mean we don't need to import any success factors data via O data or like uh, whatever uh, importer is used for workforce analytics, but we directly can access success factors data. And to uh, review the, the architecture before, we had success factors and we had like an own sub analytics cloud, like embedded and limited version in success factors. And everyone knows it as the reporting. So, uh, and obviously there was a live connector to that, but you don't realize that because it was, again, everything embedded it in success pictures. Now, those live connector will be get copied and we can use this live connector in sub analytics cloud. So we will not uh, create store reports in success pictures. We can create store reports in sub analytics cloud with the data model we have in success factors, so it will look exactly like we are used to it with store reporting. So there will be a given data model. And the second biggest benefit is we have the role based permissioning um, from success factors. So that means like we don't need in sub analytics cloud and own permissioning system. Everything from this user will be respected. Um, towards his RBP roles and, and groups. Okay, so like some prerequisites, uh, you must assign the story admin permission to success vectors and in um, sub analytics clouds, this connector needs like a BI admin role to, to create and copy that. Uh, you need to have people analytics and story reporting activated in success vectors. And of course, if you want to use a single sign on um, then the EDP needs to be the same for success vectors in Sub Analytics Cloud. So I will show you a demo case for that. Not to lose too much time, I will pause here and be back in a second uh, with a demo. Thank you. So I'm back in Sub Analytics Cloud and I show you how it would look like. So first of all, the data query. So you can create like a data model uh, which uses the exact data model we also have in success vectors. So just to give you like a brief overview, you have like all schema tasks and with all the, the modules respected to your RPP role as well, like what you can report on and like everything else is working like you know it from store reporting as well. So pull in some some uh, tables, uh, the joints are already there. I selected a couple of fields here. And that's it for the um, modeler or like for the data query. So obviously we want to use this data model in the story report. So you're probably already used to, there's like little changes in the UI obviously, but this is would be our uh, report I created just quickly, just pulling in some, some user information of our demo instance. And uh, I just quickly want to also change the user that you also see that, again, all the RBPs are also respected without doing anything in Sub Analytics Cloud. So give me a second here, I'll be back. 
So we'll come back. I will log in uh, now in our demo instance with this different user. Uh, I don't have like a single sign on activated here. So again, just manual logging in. Um, for this proof of concept to showcase I'm using this report now with a different user and I only see 80 employees so not as my user with this 1400 something um, so that showcases the scenario that we can use sub analytics cloud with success vectors data in a live connector respecting the data model we have in success vectors and respecting RBP Last but not least, I just want to show the validation. So I created like a separate store report. Again, we cannot use the same in SAC and in success vectors. So I just create a validation report here to see if the data really is correct. And with my user, I do see 1,400 something here. And I will also proxy into uh, our uh, other person just to validate that he also just sees 80 and like on purpose i just pulled in like couple less fields so to see that it's not the same report and that's also not possible so if you create a report in success pictures you cannot use it in sub analytics cloud and the other way around but again just showcasing that the data is live that we used our data model in success pictures as it is and that it's fully respected um, rbp so we see our 80 people, so I'm, I'm certain that the line connector works properly. And let me just give you a brief overview of what kind of restrictions we have. So this live connector comes with some restrictions. So there's this classic design experience. So you probably want to use a new one, schedule publication, data change insights, model repointing, time hierarchies, R widgets, search to insight, geomap functionalities, natural language queries. So there are like some benefits using it in sub analytics cloud and we do have the functionalities uh, we have in sub analytics cloud, but obviously it comes with some um, restrictions in sub analytics cloud. So not all augmented functionalities in sub analytics cloud are um, usable, but um, I still think it's a very good alternative to create reports in sub-analytics cloud in terms you do analytics already in sub-analytics cloud. Okay, thank you so much for your attention. If you have questions, contact me, write a comment um, or any other salesperson in our company. We are happy to help with that. Thank you so much and goodbye.